Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Stuff and in this video we're gonna integrate PDF to your library and with that we'll load uh, local PDFs from our device. But in the next video we'll create an app in which we can upload PDFs to Firebase storage and we'll also fetch them into the recycler view and on click of uh, uh, each PDF we'll also load them and even we'll provide a download functionality there with the help of download manager. So do subscribe for that and stay tuned. Alright, so I have created this empty project and first of all what we need to do, we need to download the uh, library or we need to add the library. So for that just open your any browser and search for PDF view library Android studio and then we will click on this link which is Bartek SC. I don't know how to pronounce it but yeah this one. So we will go down here and we will copy this implementation which is stable one and we'll jump to the build.gradle app level and at the bottom i'll paste this but uh, before clicking on the sync now uh, you can see is this library is available in jcenter repository and it will be available in maven central soon so we need to add jcenter for that so it is settings.gradle what we need to do uh, below this maven central we just need to write j center all right and then also in the gradle dot properties we need to enable the jt file so i'll duplicate this line and instead of use android x i'll write enable jt fire and then i'll click on sync now all right so this project has been synced i'll close this i'll close this i'll close this as well and then i'll jump to the activity main and instead of this text view, I'll write PDF view. I'll write this one. And instead of width wrap content, I will set 0 dp here, 0 dp width, and 0 dp height as well. We'll provide an ID to it. So ID, and I'll name it as a PDF view. Cool. So then we'll jump to the main activity, and also we can just uh, enable the view binding. So for enabling the view binding, we just need to write build features. view binding and we need to make it true so true cool then i'll click on sync now again all right so then we'll go to the main activity and first of all we'll create one late init var for our binding so right late late init var binding binding and this will be activity main binding all right let's just initialize it over here so binding dot activity main binding dot inflate we'll need to pass a layout inflator here and instead of r dot layout dot activity main in the set content view we'll write binding dot root cool and also in the activity main uh, we'll add one fab button so just search for floating action button over here so floating action button we'll drag it over here and we'll add one icon We'll just add one vector asset search for add select this one click ok next finish i'll select this add one all right click on ok actually we need to add it in the constraint layout so yeah i'll drag it over there then i'll constraint its end to the end and bottom to the bottom of parent we'll provide it and let's just remove this text from here we don't need text here so here we don't we don't need clickable property here we just need a margin from the bottom of let's say 12 dp and margin from the end of 12 dp cool all right then we'll go to the main activity and over here we'll add an on click listener to this floating action button so dot set on click listener click listener this one and in here we'll just launch one launcher as on activity result is deprecated we'll use a uh, result launchers here so for that i'll write private val i'll create one launcher over here so private val launcher equals to register for activity result this one and in this we need to pass activity result contracts so activity result contracts as you can see this one dot get content 
get content and over here we'll get an uri as you can see here so we'll just rename it as a uri cool then we can use it over here so here we'll check as you can see this uri is nullable uh, we'll write uri dot let then binding dot pdf view dot from uri we get few functions from here as you can see from set from bytes from file from source from stream from uri the next video uh, we will use firebase in that video we will use from stream function but for this video we will use from uri and we get uri over here so i can just pass it over here cool then we need to call this uh, launcher over here we just need to launch it so to launch this launcher we need to write launcher dot launch and we need to pass the content type that we want to select from the file selector so application uh, slash pdf we want this kind of uh, files when we launch our this launcher all right so i hope uh, this will work let's we'll just try to run the app and we'll see it's working or not okay so our app has been installed now i'll click on this fab button and as you can see uh, it is showing me the pdf so i'll just click on this first first three gps pdf and okay uh, we just miss load function over here so we just need to write load over here and this will work let's just try to run the app again and again i'll click on this fab button i'll select this pdf and yeah as you can see this pdf has been loaded over here let's just select uh, another pdf so this one full text cool so yeah this library is working fine uh, you just need to set up the j center and all that as it is not available in the maven center all right so that's it for this video i guess uh, you understand how to use this library it was simple so yeah that's it do subscribe and thank you for watching